what is a low carb diet and in fact what is a carbohydrate? I'm Pollyanna Hale from thefitmumformula.com and I'm going to try and answer that today. So when people say they're going on a low carb diet, perhaps you know someone or maybe you've even tried one yourself, often what they actually mean is they're saying they're going on a low starch diet. So they're cutting down or reducing foods like potatoes, pasta, rice, um, those sorts of things, things that we traditionally think of the carbohydrate part of the meal. And that's true, those are carbohydrate foods, but they're only one type. Those are what we call starchy carbohydrates. And they're actually carbohydrates in all different foods. Let's take dairy, for example. Dairy products have lactose in them. Lactose is a dairy sugar. Sugar is simply a form of carbohydrate. So therefore, by definition, dairy products have carbohydrates in them. Now, it's in varying amounts. For example, cottage cheese or Greek yogurt are a lot lower in carbohydrates in lactose and a lot higher in protein. Fat varies depending on what one, um, what you choose. There's different amounts of carbohydrates in different milks and cheeses. But essentially, dairy products have carbs in them. Fruit. Fruit has fructose in fructose is a natural sugar, so fruit has carbohydrates in. Fruit also has an amazing amount of nutrients and vitamins and minerals and fibre as well. And they tend to be quite watery, so they tend to be quite bulky with not too many calories. But fruit is a carbohydrate. Vegetables are the same. Vegetables have a lot of fibre in them, a lot of water in them, they're very low calorie, but vegetables have carbohydrates in. Nobody would ever say, or nobody in their right mind would say, eat a lot less uh, fruit and vegetables. So when people say they're going on a low carb diet, they don't really mean that. What they mean is they're going on a low starch diet because we really want to keep the vegetables high, especially. We want to keep a certain amount of fruit and if you tolerate them okay, dairy products are really, really nutritious. So we want to keep and offer lots of benefits. So we want to keep the dairy products in. Beans and legumes. Now, the beans and legumes are fantastic for people to wanting to lose weight because they contain uh, something called resistant starch, which, to cut a long story short, is very, very filling. So that's why beans, chickpeas, um, lentils, all sorts of those things are very, very filling. It's also, incidentally, in cold cooked potatoes you develop this resistant starch so cold cooked potatoes are a lot more filling than warm potatoes that's a bit of a side note there but this resistant starch is very very filling but yes beans have carbohydrates in them so even if you're reducing things like mashed potato and white bread it still might be worth your while if you're trying to lose weight to include things like beans in them to, because they're bulky and they'll keep you full for longer fiber is a type of carbohydrate as well. Fibre is actually, there's various types of fibre, but it's basically a carbohydrate that we do not digest. That's why it helps keep you regular, it's good for digestion, but it is a carbohydrate, and on food labels, fibre is usually, unless they separated them out and it's a, quite a comprehensive, complicated label, often the fibre is included in the total carbohydrate content. So as you can see, when somebody's saying they're going to cut down on carbs or, or eat fewer carbs or cut out carbs, it's not as simple as, as that, is it? If you were to really go on a very, very low carb diet, you'd be basically eating protein and fat because there are only three food groups, protein, fat, carbohydrates. All foods fit into one or more of those. Beans are mostly carb, but they have some protein. Salmon is protein and fat. Uh, nuts are a bit of everything. You see, they're a mixture. So if you were to go on a truly, really low-carb diet, you wouldn't be eating hardly any vegetables. You'd be basically eating protein and fat and maybe a few leafy greens thrown in here and there. And I think it's safe to say that that's not the ideal diet for most people. That's going to be vastly nutrient deficient. So when people say they're going on a low-carb diet and that they felt better through reducing carbohydrates, what they mean usually is that they've reduced starchy carbohydrates. So these are your pastas, rice, bread, potatoes. They're the main ones. And why would somebody do that? Well, they these foods offer lots of nutrients as well. They've got fibre in them. They do have certain vitamins and minerals. But they are quite easy to eat. It's very over easy to overeat 
white bread and white toast and butter, for example. You can get through quite a lot of calories of that without feeling satiated. On the other hand, um, some stir-fried chicken or prawns and lots of lovely vegetables to, um, made tasty with low-calorie things like soy sauce. You can eat an enormous plate of that feel very full, very satisfied, and so it's a lot easier to reduce your calories without feeling deprived. Remember, if you want to lose weight, you have to reduce your calories. So the best way to do that is to make your life as easy as possible, eat the foods that are gonna keep you feeling good and feeling as full as possible. And that, for a lot of people these days, means cutting back, not eliminating, but just cutting back on the amount of starchy carbohydrates because they're very easy to overeat. And actually, grab for gram or calorie for calorie they don't offer as many nutrients as some other foods for example fruit and vegetables they don't have quite as many nutrients and they do have some and that's not to say you have to cut them out completely but just adjust adjusting the ratios might make your weight loss program a lot lot easier you'll feel better you're still getting lots of nutrients and you're feeling really full as well so when you say when people say they're cutting down on carbohydrates or you think you want to cut down on carbohydrates just make sure you're knowing where you're cutting those carbs out from where you are still getting carbohydrates and make sure you're you're getting everything that you need in your diet to stay healthy if you've got any questions about that please do comment below or get in touch with Pollyanna Hale from the fitmomformula.com and please share this video if you found this helpful. Thank you very much, bye bye.